It's Our Play Society's biggest fundraiser of the year, and it's a delicious way to give back and help the city's less fortunate. And as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, it's also a way to help local restaurants that have been hard hit by the COVID pandemic. Battering a fresh piece of halibut and carefully setting it in the fryer. The Oak Bay Beach Hotel's executive chef prepares a new milk-watering masterpiece. I wanted to have a, a nice crispy dish that we could use because battered halibut is something that's really popular in Victoria. The daring dish, which has pickled plum in the aioli and Singaporean slaw, is part of Our Place Society's Hungry Hearts fundraiser, which is currently underway. I really hope that it, it brings the, the attention that Our Place and Hungry Hearts deserves. Um, it's been an extremely challenging year, challenging couple of years, and uh, it's great to see our industry rally together. The Hungry Hearts campaign, which is Our Place's biggest fundraiser of the year, usually has chefs face off at an event, but this year with COVID, it's a little different. We decided to give back to the restaurants. This is a way of us giving back to, to drive traffic to them. We, we understand we're not the only ones challenged uh, during COVID, so we're trying to give back to the businesses that have been so supportive of us. It's been an incredibly challenging period for the hospitality sector, and all of the restaurants taking part have been impacted by the COVID pandemic. We've been put through something that uh, we've never experienced before. It's been a real dig deep moment for an entire uh, industry, food and beverage. But despite the huge challenges they've faced, the 14 restaurants taking part all wanted to give back. Well, more than ever, what has been highlighted to us was the importance of community and it was our community that supported us through the, the darkest days. It's important to me to make a difference in our community to make uh, the city a better place for all of us to live. This is the eighth year for Hungry Hearts, which has raised $900,000 for our place over the years, and the need now is greater than ever. Basically, this is life or death. We're, we're one of the bigger safety nets in Victoria. If we weren't there right now during COVID, I don't want to think about what would happen. Money raised this year will help with employment programs as the Land and Sea Contest has restaurants serving up either a mushroom or halibut dish to see who will win the coveted culinary competition. We'll take top three. Uh, um, Are you going for first place this year? If we're on the podium, if we're on the podium, we'll be very happy. You can vote in the foodie fundraiser on the Times Colonist contest page until September 7th, and the winner will be announced during the Hungry Hearts virtual gala on Czech TV September 18th. Enjoy. As for the Snug Pub's entry on offer, it's going to be hard to beat. This is delicious. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.